very sustainer. And the Bible tells us that life, eternal life, wrapped itself in human flesh. The Word of God, the living Word of God, became a human being. Amen. And our life is found in Him. The Bible says in John 1 verse 3, all things were created through Him. And apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. And life was in Him. Amen. His life. All the brilliance and the splendor of, of His life. Life like no other life. I tell you, his, in Him not only is life, but His life is holy life. Yes, amen. His life is different from mine and yours because it is perfect holiness amen. communicated and expressed. The perfections of the Lord Jesus makes Him capable of being our Savior because it was the Holy Son of God that bore all of my unholiness and all of your unholiness on the cross. And the Holy One died for the unholy ones that we might be saved from our sin and have eternal life in Him. The angel replied to Mary in Luke chapter 1, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. The sinless Son of God bore the sin of the world on the cross and died there in our place. And yes, indeed, we might be forgiven of our sin, reconciled to God, and have eternal life. Oh, the splendor of the life of Jesus. The impeccable, brilliant life of the Lord Jesus. Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have what? You have seen the Father. All oh, the beauty. And then there's the splendor of, of not only the life of the Lord, but of the love of the Lord. I tell you, Christmas is all about the love of God. Amen. Christmas is all about the love of God that was packaged in that little baby that was placed there in that manger in that little. That's God's Christmas gift to us, is the very love of God found in the Lord Jesus. Amen. You know, it's not just a, a precious little story about a unique baby that was born 2,000 years ago and placed there in the manger. And we look back and we say, oh, how sweet. As wonderful and as correct as that is, I tell you, that's not but just the beginning of the story. The Lord Jesus came as the package of God's love for sin. God loved us and sought to save us, and He has provided for us His wonderful grace in the Lord Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave that wonderful Christmas gift of His Son. For God so loved the world that He gave His only born Son, His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in Him would not perish in their sins, but instead have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world. The world was already condemned in sin. Jesus did not come to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Amen. Rescued. And that all the splendor, not only of the life of Jesus and the love of Jesus, but of the light of Jesus. So oh, as you and I see our Christmas lights, we see our lights on our homes and on our tree, and we see Christmas lights in various places. May every little light bulb remind us of the light of the Lord Jesus. The light that we have in Him. You see, apart from light, we can't see. Let me give you a little science or, or, or a biology lesson this morning. I, I, our sight is what? It is the brain's interpretation of those beams of light that strike our eyeballs. And then that message is carried back to our brain, to the optic nerve. You see because of light. If there is no light, you do not see. And I tell you, the world is blind. Yes. And the only way that we see is through the Lord Jesus. You don't understand life. You don't know what life is all about. You, you don't have the right comprehension until you know Jesus as your Savior and Lord. And then through the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, then we're able to understand why we exist. And we understand what, what God intends for us. And life finds its purpose in the light that we have in the Lord Jesus. 
Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. He that follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Yesterday afternoon, we were at a mall getting some Christmas pictures made for our Christmas card that we sent down every year. And uh, we saw Santa Claus there, children lined up, guns in them, Santa Claus laughed. You know, I wasn't close enough to hear the words being said by Santa Claus to those children, but I know what he said. What do you want for Christmas? Right? I mean, we all know that. That's what Santa Claus says. What do you want for Christmas? Well, I'll tell you something. I don't know what you need, what you want, but I do know what you need. Amen. You need Jesus. Yes. You need God's gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no substitute. There is no substitute for the Lord Jesus Christ. Only Jesus can save So Only Jesus provides forgiveness of sin. Only Jesus reconciles us to God. Only Jesus meets the deep need of the heart and the soul of men and women and boys and girls. And I tell you, regardless of what Christmas presents you may get from your loved ones and friends and others, I tell you, there is no gift that compares to the gift of God when He gave us Jesus Christ. Oh, would you today, if you have not already done so, embrace God's gift of the Lord Jesus and receive the one who is light and the one who is Life and the one who is love and experience the power of his saving grace.